right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Seattle Seahawks and the Jacksonville Jaguars. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Tevin Coleman, and not a whole lot to speak of there as he'll bring him down shy of the 20. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. The last run good for two, here's second and eight. On second down, it's Coleman. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on run downs. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. From the gun, it's Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. They get 17 on that one. Move the chains. First down, Seahawks. Coleman on first down and able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Let's go, Wilson over the middle and it's incomplete. The intended receiver was DK Metcalf and that takes us from second to third down. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick but able to see it, diagnose it and get to the football that's why he was able to bat it away. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the shotgun, Wilson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 46. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. A first carry now for Kofrani Muhammad. 
And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Watch the run, watch the run. Carry for Giovanni Bernard. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. Tighten up, tighten up. Check, 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 check. Why, 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 get why? Watch the twist. Watch the twist. Now a give, right side. Muhammad. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. On third down, Brissett. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down for the touchdown on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll run with Muhammad, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. He's crashing. He's checking crash. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Check nine, check nine. Check nine. Check, 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 check. They'll run. This is Bernard. The decision to go for it pays off, and now they're set up first and goal. There wasn't even thought of a short field goal. There was no hesitation. They were going for it. I think he was thinking ahead a couple plays ago, that if he got in this situation, they were definitely going for it. And you're right. It was a confident call and a decisive run to pick it up. So now, just like that, things change dramatically. It's first and goal. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. 
It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. This one out quickly to Westbrook. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. This defense hasn't let him in yet. They'll need to stiffen here. Third and goal from the two. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And he will be marked down right there at the 20-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They had the auspicious beginning to the season, a first drive turnover. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home and they'll stop him behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Okay, baby, I see you. Who's the team? 58. Come on. Go, go, go. Zebra, Zebra. Third and long, it's Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, fighting his way into the backfield. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Touchdown. He'll kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25 yard line. Let's go. 
Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Rush in, rush in, rush in. Check three, check three, check three. Check, 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 check. Watch the safety, Chris. This is Coleman. And down to the 44, five yards that time. And he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars 44. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Wilson going to fake the give and keep it himself. He'll find that calf. But he will be stopped behind the line as he will not come close to the marker. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here. They could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL. Here, there he goes, left side. Touchdown, Jaguars. A big play there. 52 yards. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. And Lambeau. 
Lambo now after the touchdown. He'll kick this one away. This fielded at the two. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. That kick return TD is 98 yards in length as they are now on the board here in the first half. Such an electric play, so much fun to watch, and you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together, but that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to have really good starting field position. Take it up close to the 40. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a... And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Obi Malafonwu. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 29, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. On first down, Muhammad. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a give right side. Muhammad, and he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. We're set from the gun on third. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback, but as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. 
Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Coleman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Let's go. Right back to Coleman here on first down. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Cracks, cracks. Check it back, check it back. Coleman. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. The Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. Now it's Wilson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. Tavecchio puts this one through. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board in four half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day, and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something that feels somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. So a very short kick here. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spend the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively and he will lose yardage back to the 34 yard line he lost two there and it's third down and plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. 56, Mike, 56. Oh, 
56. Mike, 56. Right there, right there. 56. Let's put him on the run. From the gun, here's Brissett. And a throw there going to be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run the counter. Muhammad, and forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. Here's Brissett. Throw right side, going to be complete to Moss. And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. 56, Mike, 56. Blue dead, blue dead. Out of the gun, Brissett. And he will find his man on the outside. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. They'll run on first down. Bernard. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Watch Twins. Watch Twins. Check it out, please. Watch the go. Watch the Twins. On second down now, Muhammad. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. 56 to Mike, boy. 56. Check 56. Oh, you got deep? Mike, 56. Brissett sets to throw it. And that's caught by Smith. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. 
Set to throw on first. Complete. Smith has it. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. He takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. From three yards out, and the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Lambo to add on the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This will be taken short. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And following the interception, just any interception. Blitz coming and down he goes. Leonard Floyd able to put an end to that play and in so doing puts an end to this third quarter. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Seahawks with possession of the football, but they do trail here to begin quarter number four. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Check 13. Check 13. 25. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. The Seahawks on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and 17. To throw is Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Leonard Floyd able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Now here's Michael Dixon as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. This is taken at the 23. That looked for a second like he might take it all the way, but as it stands, it's still a massive return. And the Jags will have great field position to start this drive as they take over on the short side of the field. First down, Muhammad. 
And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A great play there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And they open the lead up now to 25. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This will be fielded at the 8. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Here we go. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. You don't see me in your nightmare, son. You don't... They will run again with Coleman. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. And the Seahawks on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll run here with Coleman out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Now on second and 13, Wilson. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. But there was pressure all around him, so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third and long, Wilson. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off around the 41, and they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. First down throw for Brissett. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. The incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise or throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead. But I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. They'll run it. This is Muhammad. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. 25 yards, the pick up there, and also a first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one, despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. They'll run on first down. Bernard. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. 
Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Give him three on the gain there, second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. They go again with Muhammad. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. It'll be a gain of five, but they do keep them out of the end zone, and now it's fourth down. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. We're set to throw for it on fourth. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it, but now you actually have to go out and prove it. They two sides to that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Flush to his right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Oh, wait, hold everything. A timeout has been called. Seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. On third down, here's Coleman. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. So this will be a win for...